If someone were speaking in a foreign language that you couldn't understand, what would you want them to be saying? Well, it would be... He was always... He's always been good. You know, he's always had this, this message of hope. I remember when he was Barry Obama, and uh, he used to come down to the Rhythm Factory, do some open mic, you know, as a big, big guest host thing. You know, he, you know, other people are doing cheap comedy gags or, you know, po poetry ranting against the war. He'd just stand up there and hope. You know, he just hoped for his, his five minute slot, you know. And he was, he was really good at hoping. He was, he was quite, it was quite audacious, you know, it's, it, and he, I mean, of course, he, he, I, I'm not surprised that he went on to, to do better things, you know, um, okay. so, like, this, like Pete Doherty, you know, you, you incubate these people and they, they fly off them. Okay, well, say, for example, you take your hair and give it a quick crimp using all your fingers, is that, mm. is that a casual motion or a meaningful one? And why? Yeah. I think it was a great tragedy because they they could they could have won, but as soon as you look triumphant in any kind of electoral campaign, you you alienate people that might have voted for you, but you also alienate your you know your, your core supporters who might have who might think okay it's a done deal now, so I'm not going to get so that that was the mistake that Kinnick made. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> You're a man of letters! <clears throat> Where do you locate those letters when you think of them? Oh, if you want something to wake you up, you might want coffee instead. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. Coffee then? What's it? Mm. No, no, I can't coffee. Okay, coffee. Get coffee, please. Get the nice coffee out. Uh, can you uh, explain to me your earliest memory as it relates to how you've turned out and and uh, the bearing therein? Um, I once ran over a child. Um, the most ironic thing about that was um, not the fact that I, I ran over the child because I'd actually stopped, well, slowed down to um, look at one of those kill your speed, not a child things where they have the artwork by children to, to get you kind of thinking about about children there. That was, no, the, um, it wasn't the fact that I'd actually ran over the child that had done the artwork for that sign. That wasn't the most ironic thing. Um, I think the, the most ironic thing was n not the fact that I, I was, well, it was one of my cousins, but um, the most ironic thing was probably the fact that if I hadn't actually slowed down and in so doing obeyed the instruction on that sign, um, the child uh, would not have died so slowly. That's a very personal question. I'm going to have to take you back to uh, 1998. I was a late starter, um, and uh, it was it was. I'd only actually just finished school actually, and it was uh, a very fond memory. It was really shouldn't have been with. why his Irish home rule bill failed. What are you, uh, <coughs> there's only a guy there count counting traffic, hiding in there. Uh, what do you reckon uh, about the feeling of getting into a conversation with a person you've never met 
and within minutes, it's wading heavy into dire philosophy. Well, um, Telemetric did a great album recently, uh, My Light Year, uh, Machine, M-A-S-H-W-N, uh, The Panacea since he resurrected Position Crown Records. I've, I've bought, bought most of what they've, they've uh, put on there. Tech Itch hasn't dropped anything for a while. Um, but yeah, I've been main, it's still uh, drum and bass mainly. Uh, I, I'm a bit out of touch though, really. I, I, I don't know any of these electro packs, packs, and I got a flyer in, in Glasgow recently, and they were just describing um, Italo and, uh, and uh, bass with some of the kinds of music that they apparently played uh, on, 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 in, in this club. I, I just didn't know what, what the hell these, these thing, things were. I, I made them out actually. Of, uh, was it? Yeah, there was um, B more, Italo. Fidgets and then uh, just simply bass, which I, I don't know if you would want to go to a club and just listen to bass when you'd want some hi hat or mid range. I mean, unless you were deaf, if, you, if you're deaf, you might want to go to a club and just have bass to, to vibrate, you know, your ovaries or a scrotal sac and kind of move you to that in the deaf club. Maybe it was a crossover, I don't know. Did you say we could go inside the church? Oh, or just we in don't... here? I, I did say we could go inside the church, but only if the doors were open. The doors aren't open. Okay. The, um, the top of it, by the way, uh, is what was rebuilt after it was bombed during the Blitz. So uh, that's why they put it in a different uh, style of brick. So you can tell where the joint came, but um, this uh, this church trapped in the centre of the crossways of the thoroughfares of progress is uh, nice and twee, and uh, it's a metaphor for some I don't know some probably something to do with religion. I don't know. Okay. Pomegranate spelled much the same way as the rock. Why? I don't know.